I'm Zoe. And I'm Simon. And since our first trip together over a decade ago, we've taken every opportunity we can get to travel, explore new countries and try new food. In this video series, we are flying to Italy for a two-week trip to eat lots of great food while also exploring Italy's countryside by car. So after finishing yesterday right at the Colosseum, it's actually the first place we're going to today. And we're doing a three-hour tour and it's already getting pretty hot, so I hope it's worth it. Also, we're already late, so we should run. Now, of course, the Colosseum is probably one of the most well-known tourist attractions in the world. And considering that, it was a bit shocking that we knew so little about it. During its time, the Colosseum was mainly used for entertainment, much like a theater or sports stadium today. And it was an important political instrument to keep people happy. Sure, the entertainment looked a bit different back then, but it's how the government ensured that people weren't going to try to topple them. The coolest thing our guide showed us was a piece of a seat from the Colosseum into which one visitor had sketched a drawing almost 2000 years ago, showing that no matter where or when you live in the world, doodling on public property will always be a thing. In the second part of the tour we got to visit the Roman Forum, which used to be the bustling center of ancient Rome, and the views and architecture you can enjoy here are spectacular. We finished with our tour through the Colosseum. It was quite interesting. It was three hours of full of information and we can really recommend to do a tour there. Uh, we did it with how was it? City Wonders. Yeah. City Wonders. Um, and the guy was really really good. He was funny and yeah, it was really nice. So now we grab these scooters to go get some food. Scooters are actually a really good way to get around in Rome or in any city basically. And we've now come to, oh god, I can't, Flavio uh, al Vela de Bordetto. Yes. <laughs> and uh, now we're gonna go for some pasta. Now, this place was truly special. It's got a great local atmosphere, and their simple Roman dishes were all delicious. The carbonara I had here was probably the best I had on the whole trip and I tried many. Carbonara for me. Very creamy. Super delicious. And the noodles are great as well. It's really thick and al dente. Super tasty. Waiting for the tram with no shade at all. That's why we've come here on the other side. <laughs> We're sitting here next to the train tracks. That's quite Under good. a tree. <laughs> and our train is finally coming. Oof. Don't miss it. <laughs> for dinner, we've come to a restaurant called Bosco in the neighborhood of Pigneto, which is a bit more alternative and we're gonna have some truffle here which is the speciality of this place it's a bit more street food style it's not a fancy restaurant or anything but we really like the vibe this is a bread with potato cream and an egg on top which is cooked at low temperature and then some truffles spread over it it has a nice consistency the crust of the bread together with the creamy potato and this perfectly cooked egg yolk it's actually quite a nice alternative to bread and olives or bread and butter for an appetizer because it's just bread with something more special. So I opted for the classic here with it, which is spaghetti with butter, truffles and parmigiano and it's really good. The truffle is very prominent and that's why we're here. Off to see the pole. 
delicious and nutritious and also free because you can find these little fountains everywhere here in Rome where you can refill your water bottle. If your goal is to travel to as many countries as possible, then you'll love Vatican City, as it's probably the easiest way to add one to your list. But it's also a great way to spend the day in Rome. See the Sistine Chapel, St. Peter's Basilica and tons and tons of art. Visiting Vatican City isn't cheap and it does feel a bit like one giant museum, because that's basically what most tourists get to see. But overall, it was a nice experience. I also really liked the exhibition of the different Pope mobiles over the ages, from carriages to classic cars. Good? Yeah, for a museum, coffee shop. So if you're planning on visiting Vatican City and the Sistine Chapel, you have to bring tons of time because there's so much to see that at some point you're going to start losing focus and that was the case when we were there. Super impressive but I think we need to recharge now with some nice lunch and I think we found the perfect place. I've never had these before. Um, I think they're arancini in all over Italy and here in Rome they call them supli but I think they are supli but I think they're quite similar. And this is my first time trying these and I think they're the perfect snack. I'm not very experienced <laughs> eating this as you see. This is the classic one. You can never go wrong with a classic. So this seems to be the spaghetti soup leaf. Mm. This cheesy crunchy crust together with the tomato sauce and spaghetti. It's also a really nice kind of potato uh, kind of tomato sauce. Mm. It's heaven on earth. Let's try the star of the show, the pizza. It's uh, supposed to be one of the best and most innovative pizza places here in Rome. And we haven't seen this much variation in the pizzas anywhere else. It looks incredible. I think the first we have to try is something that is very close to a margarita, but then also with more parmesan in the middle. That's how he explained it to us. And uh, let's give it a try. This noise is already so, so crunchy. It says everything. I mean, the crust is just perfect. It's more like a like a really nice um, ciabatta, but also with this thick crust at the bottom. That's why you get this crunch. And together with the parmesan and the tomatoes, it's a really good take of the classic margarita. It's like a pizza sandwich or a panino maybe. Um, I don't know what they call it here, but it's with really soft meat and um, chicore inside of the crispy dough. It looks so good. It's a really nice flavor combo with this smoke kind of meat and then with the bitter taste of the chicory. Really interesting. This place is all about the nice flavor combinations and they are doing it really well. I mean look at these combos. Got this egg pizza here with some what are they jalapenos on top and then also this egg version here with onions at the bottom and also then some spicy paprika powder on top. Eating. That's how you have to eat the pizza here. It says it on these signs. Yeah, I was wondering. It's in Italian though so you can't read it but also really like this one. It's more like the breakfast pizza because it's got the scrambled egg some olives as well, jalapenos, and then with some crispy bread. I take that on a sandwich anytime, but all of them are really great. I mean, the bread makes them really special, and 
It's just one of the places you have to go to to try some pizza that you maybe haven't tried before. Which one's your favorite? I really, really like the sukli. You have to try them when you get here and I'm thinking about getting another carbonara one on our way out. <laughs> but also, I really enjoyed the classic margarita one with the extra parmesan cheese. Just the perfect pizza.